good afternoon everybody today we are going to discuss about the tangle chart testing of insulator suppose in your installation a new generator transformer has come and you are provided with a tan delta test kit and you are instructed to do the tan delta testing of the transformer you should know why we need a tan delta testing for a transformer is it required only for the transformer to which part it is required what is the intent of a tan delta testing how it is performed and the detail particular about the testing connections most often we see the tan delta equipments are too costly and persons who know to operate the tan delta test kit are expertized and nobody else will know the procedure how to do the tan delta testing but the things which look very difficult in the real world or which are known to only few people are the most easiest thing which was not understood by the common people because of lack of interest or lack of deep study such a concept is tan delta and it is the most important concept because the tan delta testing of a system is directly related to the performance of system over the years first we must know what is a real insulator and what is an ideal insulator friends a insulation system if you take an insulation system even your uh, high voltage see you have a bushing you have a high voltage bushing the bushing is consist of one high voltage terminal here and we have a series of four line insulator and again this is connected to some winding a high voltage winding and this is a high voltage connection to the line see a insulation system is nothing but two conductor you if you see the machine or if you see the transformer itself it will be two windings or two conductors separated by an insulator preferably oil or we tell you it's not an insulator oil is not we can tell it as a dielectric medium so when two parallel plates of conductor are separated by a dielectric we call it as a capacitance all the insulation systems are nothing but two parallel plates with a dielectric so it is a capacitance on ideal thing we have to say that most of the insulation systems have to be or the insulation systems has to be purely capacitive suppose i give a suppose i give a voltage b the response of my insulation system should be capacitive a current ic which is leading the voltage by 90 degree this is nothing but a capacitance the car the response of a capacitor is acute but do this happen in the real world i already told you there are two conductors one is the top one is the winding and you have the insulator field in between or dielectric field in between so it is a insulator an insulator is can be equivalently called as a capacitor and a capacitor's property is to lead the voltage by 90 degree but in the real world if you give a voltage v there will be one leakage current i and there will be the capacitive current which is the insulator capacitive response and there will be 
total current will be leading the voltage by an angle phi. This phi is nothing but the angle between the voltage and the current. We call it in electrical term as power factor. Power factor angle. Or cos phi we can take it as adjacent by hypotenuse. And what is this delta? Delta is the angle by which the current, the expected current has deviated. You see, I is my expected current, but due to leakage we have got I. So we, we take tan delta, tangent of the delta. This is the opposite values. Opposite is nothing but IR and adjacent is nothing but IC. We are going to measure the tan delta. If we are able to see this angle delta is due to the small current IR. So if I want to measure, if at all I want to measure the delta, I have to measure this IR the leakage current. So, the intent in tan delta testing is to measure the capacitance and the leakage current. Then, first we have very clearly understood the picture of what is tan delta. So, we must know how to do a tan delta testing. And there is one more concept which I have to tell before going detail into a, into a testing. The total current that flows during the insulation resistance test or any test which we do for insulation is divided into three components. One is charging current. That this charging current is nothing but we told that the insulation is nothing but a capacitor. It is a capacity vehicle. The current required to charge the capacitance is the charging current. And another is absorption current. See, the moment we do absorption current is due to the C, which is drawn by the insulation by the polarizing of the electrons. These electrons will polarize. Polarize means they will orient towards one direction. At that time, it will take the current. That current is called absorption current. This is a very temporary phenomenon that will happen only for few seconds or minutes. And after that, this electrons will settle and this absorption current compound will not be there. This is the basic behind the polarization index testing, which we will cover later. And next is conduction or leakage current. This is the current that is due to the leakage, surface leakage or the leakage through the insulation, the current leakage through the insulation. So, this itself is having two components now. The current through the insulation, current should not flow through insulation. So, current through insulation and current on the surface of insulation. The surface of insulation is due to the dirt, moisture, but this current insulation is due to the failure of insulation property. Failure of insulation property. Now we have clearly explained the total current is divided by charging current, absorption current, conduction current or leakage current. The charging current is the current required to charge the capacitance. Absorption current is a current that is taken by the electrons at the time of polarizing and once the polarizing and all things have settled, this current will not come into picture. And the third is the leakage current. So these three currents form 
the total current when we do an insulation resistance test. Now, before understanding the tan delta, we have one more topic. What is the God? Let me explain you in very simple words. Suppose you are testing on machine. Okay. Say a machine. Like this. So when you are doing a say insulation resistance test and you have two terminals, three terminals, but most often we use only two terminals. You give a high voltage to this terminal. Okay. And then you know this is grounded. And you take this term. What happens now? What really happens is the leakage within or through the insulator is measured by the insulation facilities. That is, we have injected via voltage B and we have got insula leakage in I, we are, we are displaying the insulation resistance values in ohms, preferably mega ohms. But the thing is not as simple as this. There is some leakage current in the surface. And this also gets punched. If the dirt and dust are more, on the surface is more contaminated, the current flowing through the surface of the insulator is more and it is cannot be neglected. And due to this, the current which we are measuring is not exactly the current that is flowing through leakage that is flowing through insulator. It is also surface current. So you will not get the correct insulation resistance value. You are not measuring the insulation resistance of that insulator. So there is one more terminal called guard. And this guard terminal, what is the purpose of guard terminal? Many people will do in insulation resistance, they neglect the guard terminal. The guard terminal will prevent the undesirable effect in the testing due to this surface leakage current. So how we are going to use the guard terminal? Got it. You wrap a conductor and connect to God. So this current will not flow through this terminal. So you are measuring only the current flowing through this terminal and you are injecting the voltage through this terminal. So V by I you will get the mega ohm which is nothing but the real insulation system. And you have guarded the surface current and will not come into the picture. With this basic technologies, we will go detail with content testing in the next class. Thank you.